Here's the Sherman 1003 horn rotator. Kind of assembled into a complete unit finally. The blower is a uh, single phase 1959 blower from a Dallas fire station that was demolished. This is blower is uh, one of the blowers that Dallas installed with their first Thunderbolts in uh, late 1959. I wasn't able to save the horn and rotator for that siren. It got scrapped, but I did get the blower. Uh, this thing here is my vacuum motor running in reverse, so the outlet of the vacuum goes through this hose into the blower check valve. I haven't run it yet. I just got the horn uh, rotator put up on here a couple weeks ago and I finally got a rotator motor in it, single phase rotator motor in it. So I can turn the horn now and hopefully the first good sunny day I can do a three signal test with this thing in here using this vacuum blower as a uh, sort of a small blower just to give it some a little bit of volume but I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, rotator, uh, demonstrate how the rotator works. This RCM is also from the, this is one of the original Dallas 1959 Thunderbolt RCM panels. And uh, it still works fine. Let's turn on the rotator here. The, how the rotator works. So there's enough light. The motor and the gear reducer, the drive gear turning the big gear, big driven gear. This right here is the drive band that allows the horn to slip a little bit. I think I might have talked about that in one of my other videos. And uh, this one's pretty quiet. My other Thunderbolt rotator was louder than this one. And uh, the other side of it. And the battery's about to go dead on this camera. Maybe it'll last till the horn gets all the way around. It's some of the lowest speed right now. Hopefully in the next couple of days I can In the next couple of days I can do a full test of the whole thing using the vacuum blower as a blower. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Now that way I can check the chopper and the solenoids and everything with the horn turning. So I set the wire all that up. But anyway, that's pretty much it.